I'm pleased to be here as the uh, Chief Executive Officer of the GIN, which uh, for in some cases will be a um, introduction and in other cases will be a reintroduction or update to many of you here. The, the GIN is fundamentally a field building organization dedicated to increasing the scale and effectiveness of impact investing. In the three years since its launch, with crucial support from the Rockefeller Foundation, USAID, JP Morgan Chase, and Citi, among others, the field has really reached a, an important inflection point where slowly, and I do emphasize slowly, the practice of impact investing is catching up with its promise. Today, impact investors work in developed markets as well as emerging markets. They work to invest across many asset classes, from cash equivalents to fixed income to private equity, most notably. They invest across a spectrum of financial returns from below market to market rate. They work in a number of sectors, from affordable housing to education to healthcare to sustainable agriculture to renewable energy to green real estate, to name a few. And they represent investor types, particularly institutional investor types, from banks to foundations to family offices, insurers, labor organizations, pension plans, governments, development financial institutions, and others. What unifies this diverse emerging practice is the centrality of investor intent to realize both positive social and environmental benefits while achieving a return of capital and the potential for earning a rate of return on capital. But investor intent is merely the starting point. What creates transparency and accountability around that intent is a commitment to ensure the measurement and reporting of the social benefits investors seek. In helping to build the field, the GEN is committed to tackling systemic barriers to impact investing by, for example, through its IRIS platform, creating the common language that allows transparent and accountable consideration and communication of impact. Through the Investors Council, gathering many of the global leaders in impact investing into a platform for industry building, collaboration, and action. Today, 49 Investor Council members manage $10 trillion in assets, of which 60 billion are impact assets, one measure of the potential growth opportunity. Through ImpactBase, a searchable online database of nearly 300 impact investment opportunities, that manifest every day to nearly 1,000 accredited investors that impact investing is far more than a promise, but a reality. And through practitioner-focused, actionable research, education, and outreach activity that collects and reports data, lifts up examples of success, candidly confronts disappointments, and contributes to a policy agenda which enables and strengthens our work. The breadth of impact investing is an indispensable strength, and today we are pleased to announce the public launch of the GIN's network membership platform, which extends the GIN's engagement with asset owners, asset managers, advisors, and service providers in the interest of creating an ever more robust community of practice and practitioners. We launched the platform today with 83 founding members from 15 countries and five continents, from government agencies, from nonprofits, consulting firms, investment advisors, and institutional endowments. We are thrilled to, rec to, to, to welcome this impressive group of founding members and hope that many of you will join us in the coming weeks and months. I trust that all of you will take advantage of the opportunities here at SOCAP to learn and to connect. Because in the final analysis, what we are in the business of is creating opportunity and manifesting hope. And my friends, in that cause, 
We don't have a moment to lose. I thank you, and I thank you for your time and your commitment.